This is the new foldable IOL. The new IOL has been manufactured in hydrophobic acrylic and with four eyelets. You can observe that we pass the proline through the eyelet like a shoelace and make the first flange. Then, you repeat the procedure on the other side and you can see that we have an adjustable haptic that can be easily inserted inside the eye. The shoelace-like arrangement is the big deal about this new IOL. It's what makes the IOL stable. Time for the lab test. In our lab test, you can observe that we pass the 5.0 proline suture through the eyelet, first up, down, and make the first flange. You can see on both sides how you can easily adjust the proline suture in the haptic. After inserting the eye well in the eye with the help of grotto forceps, you are able to adjust the eye well inside the eye. This new concept of IOL with four eyelets and the shoelace arrangement allows the proline to come off horizontally, making the IOL stable. What didn't happen when we punched one hole on each side of the other one-piece IOLs. After that, we cut the suture 2mm from the bottom on both sides and make the third and fourth flanges, inserting the flanges inside the sclera. Observe how stable the IOL is. Is it possible to develop a new injector for this IOL? For the first time in ophthalmology, we present this new concept of injector, with a gap on the top, that allows the adjustable haptic to be inserted in the eye properly. It opens fully and it can be easily removed sparing the use of apparato forceps in the process. What are the conclusions we have reached? We keep on going with our research, but at this point we can say that the technique with the PMMA eye well has been stable. We do not recommend punching the eye well in any axis, it's not stable. The surgeries that were made with acrios or similar eye wells have shown to be stable and the tests in the wet lab with the new eye well and the new injector will happen in the following period to come. We intend to present the results soon.